Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. Zitstika is a popular acne-focused brand that promises to help heal your acne from the inside out. For the past seven months, I've been trying Zitstika's Acne Clearing Kit. This includes their Skin Discipline, their Dietary Supplements, their Hyper Fade for dark spots, and their infamous Killa Stickers. This is the Spot Clarifying Acne Patches. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience using these three products and we're going to really see, does this really work? If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha and on this channel, I post a lot of skincare, makeup, lifestyle, and hair related videos. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed and without further ado, let's get started. off with a little bit of skin history. I never had acne as a teenager. All of a sudden when I turned 20, my skin broke out in cystic acne. Now it's more on the mild to moderate side, but it still hasn't gone away completely. I've tried a number of things to try to get rid of it, pretty much everything that you can think of under the sun. So when I heard of Zitstika, it was definitely something that I wanted to get my hands on because why not? And of course, I liked the idea of the science that goes behind some of these products. I do have combination oily acne prone skin. In the summer, it tends to be a little bit more oily and in the winter, it's typically a little bit more on the dry side. Skin Discipline is basically a 30 day supply of dietary supplements that contain vitamins, minerals, and essential fatty acids that you take internally to try to help prevent your skin from even producing acne on the surface. From that, all seems great. You know, the only way to really stop your acne from coming is, is internally. There's only so much you can do on the surface. So, so far we're, we're good, okay? It comes with this little keep it fresh stick, which makes it smell like peppermint, which is really cool. Okay, so this is basically what it looks like. As you can see, the vitamins are inside the tiny capsule and then it has the omega-3 oil on the outside and this is supposed to help it absorb into your body better. The last time I had tried taking supplements for my acne, it made me really, really nauseous. So this whole encapsulated encapsule technology is supposed to help your body better absorb it and to try to not make you get nauseous from it. The supplements do retail for $59 on their website, but you can purchase it as a subscription. In that case, it will cost you $48. So let's start off on March 14th, post vitamin A and zinc. So it's been about a week and a half since I've stopped using the zinc and the vitamin A since I've run out. I'm on my period right now, so this may be why I'm breaking out, but these ones here at the bottom of my chin, I don't know what these are. They don't even look like cystic acne. They're just enlarged sores and I've never had these before. My forehead is breaking out which is how I normally break out when I'm on my period so that's not crazy. Um, this side is doing fine as well. There's nothing crazy on this side. It's just what is this? What is this? <laughs> From my experience using the vitamin A and the zinc, my skin was great. Even after stopping using it for like a month, my skin was fine, I had no issues, and then all of a sudden, these things came up. I don't know what that is, but um, we're just gonna, we're gonna move on. At that point, I really felt like I had taken two steps forward and cleared my skin with those two other supplements just to take 10 steps back. So I was waiting desperately for it skin discipline to come in the mail. March 29th was day number one and when I tell you I felt nauseous, I felt nauseous. The first week, the first couple of days, I started feeling really, really nauseous and I know that they're supposed to be encapsulated in this way that you're not going to feel nauseous. I feel like this is normal because anytime you introduce new vitamins, new anything into your routine, your body's going to get used to it and that's going to give you that nauseating feeling. Now, unlike when I took the zinc, it only lasted for one day, just the first day when I took it. I had oatmeal for breakfast and then I took the skin discipline and I did feel a bit nauseous. So. But since then, I've been taking it every day as well, and I haven't had any nausea whatsoever. Now, in terms of my skin, I had just finished my period when I started taking the zinc, so my skin typically looks good around this time anyways, which you guys know. Right now, I've just been using CeraVe pretty much. That's been helpful because I haven't been using anything else, and I can really see what the skin discipline is doing. I haven't gotten any cystic acne whatsoever. One thing that I did start to notice is that my body also started to look good. I mentioned this in a previous video, 
when you have acne on your, your face, it doesn't just stay on your face. It kind of spreads down to the rest of your body. I was really hoping that this was going to help me with my body acne as well. I do have back acne, chest acne, arm acne, and foot acne, and that's not fun at all. So it has been 14 days taking these pills. Around this time is when my skin does break out, so I'm expecting a little bit. There was like a little one right here. No cystic acne. All of that is pretty much gone, and I haven't gotten like any pimples on my forehead but I've also noticed is that on my chest I haven't broken out I mentioned before that like my skin has gotten really sensitive since taking the zinc and vitamin a so my chest I do have a little bit of bruising as you guys can see and this is simply because I was using exfoliator my skin was just really sensitive so anything I was using because I take my skincare from my face to my chest it gave me some irritation I, and I believe some eczema over here so that's what that is like that's you know, we're trying to get rid of that but I haven't broken out on my chest I haven't broken out on my back at all or on my arms and my arms typically have quite a bit of breakouts as you guys can see I don't think I've really ever showed you guys, but I break out like all over my back. When I break out on my face, I typically would get the same nodules on my shoulders back here, but I didn't get any of that. My skin was fine. I didn't feel any bumps. I didn't feel any aches and veins and all those other things. For the next couple of months, I kind of just kept taking photos of my skin. You can see that my skin overall just started to look better and better and better. So this was in April, but I did start using other products in June. Um, these were the ones from Naturium. I started using that on my skin and that also did help. So I did introduce an active at that point, but it had been like two months since I had started using Zitstika. And my skin was good. My skin felt very, very good. I did not have to worry about any of the breakouts that I had. I started just taking photos of my skin to see like the difference in the skin quality and the changes. I did notice um, that my oil production was a lot reduced. I have very oily skin in the summer combination. You know, that's what we are. And in the summer, my skin is just like glistening. Granted, I did not go outside a lot, obviously, because we are kept in doors because of this thing that's floating in the air so that may have something to do with it as well the fact that I was not outside but my oil production was totally fine by the end of August my skin was smooth like my skin just looked really beautiful really bright it did not feel congested. I kept up with a regular routine with the Notorium products that I was using at the time, but my skin just felt really, really good. And when I say that, I don't mean just my face because I wasn't using any of the Notorium products on my body. I posted a video not too long ago of my chest acne and how that cleared up very nicely. I can definitely say that the zit sticker had something to do with it as well. I no longer even break out on my chest like whatsoever. On my back, I'll show you guys as well what she looks like. So there we are. Um, it looks a bit different at the beginning of this video. As you can see, there are still some dark spots here on my shoulders. You know, that's you know normal and whatever, but there's no actual acne. On my shoulders as well, right here, on my arms, there's no acne. I'm just not breaking out anymore. And that's amazing. Um, I managed to, for the most part, over my skincare journey, settle down what's on my face, but my body was always a really difficult area for me. I do like how this just kind of helped you overall. I think it's nice and it's very helpful to have a complete tablet that has everything in it. So you don't need to be picking different tablets. In terms of the price, I mean, it's quite expensive for a tablet that you're taking. It's like $40, $50 every single month for this. So it can get a little bit expensive. I have one, two, three, four, five of these bottles. So I think I threw out one already because it's been seven months and um, I don't think you need to use these forever. I think that you're, once you balance your hormones, especially as you age, you should be fine. But so far, I, I really do like what's going on with my body. I think internally, it's really, really helping me, especially with my body acne. Now, to be fair, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. So I can't tell you if this, is, this specific capsule is going to help you as who you are. Um, they're made to be as a one size for everyone. So you may want to talk to your doctor if there's something they would recommend you take instead. But I think this, this is actually pretty cool to, to use and to take. But of course, my review of this is anecdotal evidence because I can only speak of what happened with me. With me, it worked. And I've seen a lot of other people it's worked with them too. 
but take that with a grain of salt. The next product was the Kill It Kit. This is the micro dart patches for deep zits. Now, like I said before, I did start off with those like really red weird pimples on my skin and I do sometimes get irritated pimples here by my nose. So this came in clutch for that. These do retail for $39 on their website. What I love about these is this was the first product that I had seen that had micro darts at the end of the pimple patch. I've used pimple patches in the past, but nothing quite like this. I did find that the ones that were just like hydrocolloid, they just kind of stay on the surface of the skin. But if you have a deep cystic acne, you need something that's going to penetrate the skin and just like pump all those good ingredients inside. This box comes with two products. Comes with the eight micro dart killer patches and eight soaked clean swabs. I really love the idea of the clean swabs because it just makes sense. If you're gonna be penetrating the skin with micro darts, you need something to clean the area. So I would do my facial routine, put on my moisturizer and everything at night. Um, and then I would use the clean swab, clean the area, let it dry for 15 seconds before applying the patch on top. With the alcohol here, I really don't think it's a problem. You do need to sanitize the, the area before actually putting needles in your skin. So that's totally fine. Didn't have any issues with that. And let's see how that went. So I actually ended up using these multiple times. I have three boxes of these Killa Stickas and I really enjoy them. I think they really help to reduce the size of the acne on my skin. And just in one day, like my pimple was basically virtually gone. And that is like unheard of. I've used salicylic acid before, I've used benzoyl peroxide before, but I feel like at some point it just stops working. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But with these, I just felt like they really did help. The last product is the Hyper Fade. Now these are the micro dart patches post zit marks. Now these are supposed to help with dark spots on your skin. You guys know that is something I'm struggling with. These freaking dark spots all over my skin. I did not use them on my body at all. I'm using other things for that, but on my face, I really wanted to give them a try. So I tried it in two ways. I tried it on a dark patch that had been there for a couple of months. And then I tried it on a patch that had been there recently. This retails for $46. So here are the active ingredients. I'm just reading them off of my computer. There's hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, vitamin C, arbutin, licorice root extract, TXA, which is a gentle acid that brightens the appearance of dark spots. So another like tyrosinase inhibitor, I guess, and then kojic acid. So all of these are really great lighteners. We've all heard of vitamin C brightens the skin. It blocks some melanocytes. Kojic acid does the same thing. Alpha arbutin does the same thing. This one specifically says arbutin, not alpha arbutin. Don't know if there's a difference, but okay. And then the TXA, which is uh, another tyrosinase inhibitor that they have there. It does say on the website that this is fine for people of color as well. It's fine if you have darker skin and it's gonna work for you. So I really wanted to put that to a test and see if it would. So it's the next morning. So just wash my face and this is what our spot looks like. Does it look any faded? I mean, obviously it's still there. So on the older pimple that I had on my skin, to be honest, I didn't really feel like it did much. I mean, it's still there now. I think it's a slightly lighter, but it's not anything significant. You're not gonna get like a full erasure of spots on your skin. It's not an eraser. It's not gonna completely get rid of it, but it will fade it. I think that if you have a pimple that just left a dark spot, like the dark spot is fresh, you're gonna see a big difference. But if it's something that's been there for a while, it's not gonna give you as big as a, of a reveal that you're looking for. I did think it helped, but don't think that this is gonna zap it away. It doesn't work like that. To be honest, I was a little disappointed with this product because I kind of hoped it would do a little bit more. Um, once again, dark spots, sometimes they take three months, sometimes they take years to go away. So I know this, I know this, I know this, <laughs> but um, I was a little disappointed that it wasn't completely, you know, faded or wasn't more faded than it was. I actually use this multiple times. You'll see multiple times of me using it on different areas on my skin, on different 
spots that had been there for you know various lengths of time I still just didn't see anything completely go away so personally I don't think that the super fade at least for pigmented skin is going to do anything crazy for yourself you may as well just get the actual serum and use that instead I don't really think this did much for me also it didn't have like the um the swabs like the other one did I would think that you're supposed to clean the area so I ended up using just a toner a toner on the skin to clear off the area and then put the patch on but it wasn't anything miraculous like you just may as well just get a serum you'll be better with just like a kojic acid serum or alpha arbutin serum they'll be much much more effective than using this so that is my review of these products. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have any comments, if you tried them before, let us know how they went for you. I would love to hear your thoughts. As always, click over here to see some of my previous videos, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye.